Greetings. My name's Sean, and I want to share a small story. You see, I grew up in the sunny state of New Mexico, in the quiet, if boring, suburbs of Rio Rancho. If you've never been there, well, let me tell you, you were not missing all that much, especially during the mid-2000s as the state was slowly expanding outwards from its sprawling development of Albuquerque. For a family with three children growing up here, there were few places to go for entertainment, and venues that were for children were even fewer. But my parents didn't want me or my siblings to sit around all summer during what you could describe as one of the state's drier periods in recent history. And we, so we would drive to a small town south of us nestled along the Rio Grande known as Corrales. It was here that I had my first experience going to a library. Corrales was a smaller town, not congested with hundreds of identical houses, but rather dotted along a single winding path alongside the Rio Grande. Between several smaller plots of land stands the Corrales Community Library. Despite its quaint appearance, the library held a special charm. Every day, children would go outside and play in the shade of the nearby La Entrada Park, or head inside the small adobe library, where they could read books for hours and cool off while sitting alongside a koi pond that was built inside. Best of all were Tuesday evenings, when a guest speaker would be invited to visit and entertain the children through stories and performances. It was those afternoons listening to stories of the world beyond my small hometown, getting to learn about famous people and events, developing over time both a creative spirit and a love for stories. These moments will stay with me as fond memories of my childhood. Returning as a young adult, it hasn't changed much over the last 20 years, somehow still retaining that special atmosphere, only for a new generation. By the picturesque description, it would sound like this library must have been the passion project of a wealthy philanthropist who retired in the community, or perhaps a renovated property of the state. However, not only is that incorrect, but the truth is even more wholesome. Corrales Library is the culmination of over seven decades of local pride and camaraderie. Created out of the contributed efforts of its residents, it would later be known by townsfolk as the Library the People Built. According to the library's archives of its history, our story dates back to 1955, back when Corrales was a much smaller community. To put into perspective as to how underdeveloped New Mexico was at this point, you have to understand that it had only been recognized as a state just under 50 years ago, the town was little more than a farming community, and the library had yet to have been built. Instead, the original library arose out of an informal group of Corrales residents, who over the decade would hold a series of fundraisers with the contributions from locals and tourists interested in the local adobe architecture. Once they had enough money to purchase a new library, they would house it in the former fire station, the first iteration of the Corrales Library was finally opened in 1967. The county provided a yearly grant of $400 that would cover the cost of any additional books, whilst the remaining expenditures were paid through more fundraising efforts. What's more, the community space opened the door for larger donation efforts, such as local canasta games, baking competitions, and book sales. It was at this point that the founders of the library and members who stuck with the project joined to form the Friends of the Corrales Library, a nonprofit organization dedicated to maintaining the library and its history. This would remain the status quo for nearly a decade until 1977, when the FOCL became emboldened to build something more permanent. At this point, the library was beginning to show signs of decay, and the cost of repair was growing larger than the cost to operate. It was with this in mind that the FOCL proposed their next order of business, to raise the funding for the construction of a new library. The organization chose a plot of land adjacent to the post office, bank, and the recently created La Entrada Park. What made this operation special was that rather than paying for a private contractor, the FOCL was able to mobilize the community into aiding the construction efforts, as described in the founding's history. 
quote, the Friends of the Corrales Library organized the whole building effort. They brought the village together and had fun doing it. Concerts, t-shirt sales, flea markets, and entreaties for help with the promise of a good time. These promises were fulfilled, as Carol Toll, one of the other FOCL founders, later describes, quote, we did it, the people of the Corrales, the friends of the library, all of us together, artists, artisans, laborers, and children, who mixed a little mud, laid a few bricks, pushed a wheelbarrow, put in a weekend, or every weekend, beat the bushes, lost tools, got hernias, neglected home and hearth and jobs, worked and dreamed for many years, and gave money. We got what we deserved, and it's beautiful. With the new Adobe Library constructed in 1979, the community rejoiced for a job well done. But there was still one problem. Transporting the several hundred books from the original location down the mile and a half route and keeping them in order. The fun solution devised was simple. Having all the children of Corrales Elementary School walk in single file, each carrying a stack of books, which they would bring to members of the FOCL at the new location, where an ice cream party was awaiting the children. It worked without a hitch, and the library opened its new doors for the very first time. The library has continued operating since then, with additional wings of the library being installed over the following decades. While these stories are all quaint in their retelling, they underline an important truth which lies at the heart of the community library. That is, that the library itself is a relatively fundable project. This is due in part to Adobe. Adobe, for those outside of the Southwest, is a historical architecture style named after the material it is created out of. Adobe works well due to it being an economically efficient building material, cheaper than brick, that is optimal for the dry climate of New Mexico. What's more, Adobe does not require special training or equipment to construct. As Ruth Armstrong, another member of the FOCL, points out, quote, if the new Corrales Library had been built by a contractor under ordinary conditions, it would have cost about $118,000 not counting the land. The total amount of cash paid out by the Friends of the Corrales Library has been $15,000. The rest was love, end quote. When accounting for inflation, this is just under $60,000 today, a drop in the bucket financially compared to the half a million that it would have cost to charge a private contractor today at that rate. And that is the importance that the Corrales Library holds in my heart. The fact that a community of just over 3,000 people could be brought together and dedicate themselves to creating a shared space like this. The residents did not have to sacrifice anything more than a few days of work for a literal labor of love. Even now, the library is run entirely by volunteers who maintain operations just the same as they had 50 years back. And just as the library inspired me as a child, efforts to educate the next generation have only continued to impress. It has recently started a new initiative to create a seed library, a seed drive to promote gardening to the children of the community. I hear it has been quite popular. I hope that when you go out and about your day, you are reminded of your own memories growing up. Did you have your own little Corrales library in your hometown? Is there a place you could make now? While daunting in scope, it is important to remember that we are not alone in pursuing a dream. And if we share others in our dreams, perhaps we can make those dreams become reality.